Hello Python programmers and welcome back to the video second of our tic-tac-toe game project. So in the previous video we have created the GUI and assigned the cross and O to each button for each player. Now for those who haven't seen that video please go back and see that because if you haven't seen that video then you won't be able to understand this one because this video is just the continued part of the previous video so first go watch that and then you can join us here so first of all let me explain you that what are the conditions of any player to win a player wins when if he claims all the rows like the first row the second row and the third row or all the columns like the first column second column or third column or the diagonal of the three cross three matrix so i guess you know what is the rule for winning of a tiktok toe game so let's create that logic first of all call the library from iteration import permutation so we'll use the mathematical concept of permutation this should be permutation and let's list out the possible values okay so first of all we have this one two three then four five six then seven eight nine then we have one three five and two whatever it is we are having nine possibilities so let's write them down here in each variable let's say set one is equal to permutations of 1 2 and 3 so what this command will do here is it will find all the possible combinations of uh, the 1 2 3 list now let me show you that how this works python now we are gonna import this package so i will copy this from here and this package also comes pre-installed there is no package as iteration uh, it should be iter tools actually it is not iteration it is iter tools iter tools dot import permutation okay and then let's say we want to get all the possible uh, combinations of 1 2 and 3 values for i in list of set 1 then we'll print uh, i here if we press enter we can see all the possible outcomes 1 2 3 1 3 2 2 1 3 and all the possible outcomes of the 1 2 3 set now let's write it down for all the possible combinations Okay, so there we go. We have three. Uh, we have eight possibilities: three of the rows, three of the columns, and two diagonals. So, let's create a for loop to extract each set from here, from set one, comma set two, comma set three, comma set 
four comma set five comma set six comma set seven comma set eight comma uh, there are only eight sets here then we are gonna iterate in each list of this set like each set has like uh, eight or nine values so we are gonna iterate to each value uh, list of i then we'll write one uh, list command let's create a variable player one to all the elements let me write this then i will explain you so what is happening here is we are first of all extracting each the element from the player one and checking that all the elements of the j of the permutated lists is present in the player one list or not and if it is present the player one value becomes true let me show you what i'm going to do here let's call python first and we have to call the iteration package sorry the iter tool package uh, actually we don't need iter tool first of all let's create one uh, list let's say one two three four uh, sorry one two three four then we'll create another list with let's say three and one and four so the order of both the list elements are very different now let's write this command here and check whether this command is able to find out that all the elements of b are present in a list or not uh, in the a list and the value is returned true let's change the b list and add one more value let's say one four eight and let's write this command again and there you can see it's false because one extra value is here which is not present in a list so this is how it works now let me create the same for the player 2 player 2 and I'll simply copy paste this one only the list name will be changed so it will check whether the all the elements of our j list are present in our player list or not and if the player one is equal to equal to true or the player one has one because it has satisfied all the condition for winning then we'll simply write player one wins and then let's import the message box package of kinta so that we can create a pop-up message from kinta dot message box import show info now if this is true then we'll simply write show info and this is the title uh, let's say game result 
and this will be the message body the player one has one and let's do the same for the player two also Elif Elif the player two is equal to true then the player two wins the game result the player two has won and we want to break the loop after this is done so we'll write break here and if this is not the case and there is no winner then we'll simply pass so this is it that you have to do yes this is it that you have to do to see that which player has won so let me save this ctrl plus b to run and we are having a error uh, because for I in okay let me run this again and oh zero okay let's make the player one win and there we go the player one has won so let's try whether the player two condition is working or not the player 2 is O so let's make player O wins and there we go the player 2 has won so this was a short but a very interesting project and I also learned a few things in this project like how the permutation in uh, in Python works I mean I have done the permutation and, and combination in mathematics but to use this in a real life base is really very interesting so this was a fun project for me also and i hope you'll like it and if you like it in my channel i create such short but awesome projects so i'll meet you there bye bye